New court records give the arguments from all sides. Why Wood says the state should set her free, why the state says she should be released, and why the victim's families want her to stay in prison. Serial killers don't quit. But also among the records is Wood's pre-sentence report, never before released, that provides new details in the 1987 murders. For the first time, they explain why the plot by Wood and her then-lover Gwendolyn Graham to spell murder with their victims' initials failed because some of their intended victims fought back and survived. The report shows the nurses' aides tried to kill at least 10 patients. Today, the lead detective revealed for the first time that more elderly patients were likely killed by the pair based on his months working with Wood, who cooperated with police. She thought there was approximately a, a dozen or so uh, victims at Alpine Manor. A dozen or so that they actually killed or attempted to kill? Actually killed. And that never came out, right? Never. Instead, prosecutors charged Graham with the murders of five elderly women. She's in prison for life without parole. Wood, on the other hand, got a deal and a 20 to 40 year sentence. If it wasn't for that deal, Gwen Graham would probably have been loose today. The parole board in September approved Wood's release, leading to a fight by the victim's families. They say she has not taken responsibility, played a much bigger role in the deaths, and fears she would kill again. Wood claims she was only a lookout and that Graham suffocated the patients, a claim that the detective has always questioned. So she, you believe she's more active than she's letting on? That's right. Records show if she's released, Wood plans to live with her sister in South Carolina, maybe work at an animal shelter. She was close to her sister, and it would probably be best for her and best for the community. He believes she has served enough time. Do you think if she got out, she would kill again? No. Is it any more of a threat to people in our society to have a serial killer loose in another community and just say, just not ours?